valley parking right now. How are you? stuff I was kind of in the middle of like cleaning the house when we got the call so like the stove right here I had like taken out the burners to wash them and just like do a deep clean of the house so there's a few things that I started today but had to leave on such like short notice that I didn't get to finish so I'll have to do those tomorrow but tomorrow is Abby's birthday it's April 21st and Matthew has off which is very exciting he actually came home early today because we got called in for the shoot Uh, did you brush your teeth already? No, not yet. Okay, then yes, and then you need to brush and your I teeth after. I have to toast with... Cinnamon? Or what? Almond butter? Just regular butter? With this on it. You want avocado toast? On top of it. It's midnight. Please. Yeah, of course, of course, yeah. Go ahead and grab me the bread out, whichever bread you want. There's two different kinds. You can have my bread or the bread that I got for you guys. But now it is 12.04. Ab's going to sleep in the living room. She actually slept in the living room last night too. She had a movie night with her brother. Slept on the couch. Like kind of stayed up a little bit later because we thought that we would have today as more of like an off day. And I wasn't planning on filming today or doing anything today. But the whole day turned around and it was actually really amazing we had such a great day and we will never say no to target today's vlog is going to be more of like a just real authentic vlog versus like the editing that i typically do and like how i try to make it aesthetic and like fast moving and all of those things because i felt like we could just catch up for a minute and this week has just been kind of harder of a week and so i kind of wanted to be transparent about that that i showed a lot of the highlight reel lately and so i wanted to show some of like the maybe lower parts of the weeks. Abby and I are going to be leaving for horseback riding pretty soon. I'm waiting for Nana to get here. The kids are downstairs playing. Abby's currently getting ready and I have a few minutes so I thought I would just go ahead and start this vlog. So starting with last week on Tuesday, Abby had a shoot with Target. She's going to have so many ads coming up so soon. I cannot wait for you guys to see them. The next day I thought we were going to have the day off where it was just going to kind of be like school and just like kind of chilling at home and I didn't have anything planned for that day. Then we got a call at 10.30 a.m. on Wednesday and Abby I think was still sleeping in at this point we got a call asking if we could come back and reshoot something for target that we had shot the day before i only had a couple hours notice that we needed to be back into the city thursday was abby's birthday so after having like tuesday and wednesday on set and back and forth to new york and just kind of being unprepared because it is demanding for her to like you know be on set and be changing her clothes and and be modeling and doing all these things like there is a little more to it than just like going in front of a camera and smiling. I do plan on sharing a lot more about like the modeling, how we got into it, what we get paid for it, things like that. I wanna do a whole separate video on that. Anyway, Thursday was Abby's birthday and she was really tired from the past two days being on set, one of the days being like completely spontaneous and unexpected. We got her up in the morning and then we took her to Chocolate World and we just spent a little bit of the morning there. She got a little chocolate milkshake, ended up sleeping the majority of the day on her birthday. And then the rest of that week, we kind of just took it easy until Sunday which was her little birthday party which I was planning on vlogging all of that but that's kind of when my week went downhill. I had this little party thing planned for her. I had like catering. I had a picnic. Like I had kind of hired out for all of the things which if you know me I like to be in control of things so just like kind of hiring out and handing things over and paying other people to be in charge of things was almost really difficult for me because I like to be in control of everything. That was the first thing. Then I made a few errors like I ordered the catering for the wrong day and confirmed it for the wrong day so like two separate occasions. I confirmed that the catering was supposed to be on a day when the party was not. So I had a hard time with that and I was really hard on myself about that. And then the next day was her birthday party picnic and just 
it just wasn't what I expected. But the entire point of the party was for Abby and Abby had a great time and it was so much fun having all of her favorite people and my favorite people in the same place. It was really nice and it was hard for me to feel that way in the moment, but looking back at like the pictures and the little videos, it was a very cute little birthday party and I'm glad that we did that for her. And I feel like it's really important to note that like your mind's so powerful and sometimes when you get anxious or you know upset about things like the way that your mind then perceives what's going on it kind of like makes it look negative even though maybe it's not really as bad as like your mind's telling you that it is so that was the first day that i really wasn't feeling the best and then days after now we're on wednesday and you know every day has just kind of not been as much of a highlight or as happy as you know my days usually are and i'm really trying to like take a step back like yesterday all day long I just kind of played with the kids. I took Kostin on a scooter ride in the morning. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you know, I just, I'm just not feeling my best this week. This week has just been a harder week. What do you think? Do you think I've had a harder time this week? Mm-hmm. Yeah? What do you think, uh, what's it been like to be around me this week? Um, good. What have I been like? Have I, do you think that I've been a little bit less patient and, um, I don't know. Do you think I've been a good mom this week? You promise? Yeah? Well, that makes me feel better. Hey, Mommy. Mm-hmm. Did you watch my videos? My I did watch it. I watched one of your videos. I didn't watch the other one yet, but I'm excited to watch it. I saw the one about the sea creatures that you sent me. You mean the mythical creatures. The mythical creatures. That's, that's right. Yeah, you're right. I love you. I love you too. Will you go get dressed for the day? Okay. Okay. See you later. See you later. You're so sweet. This kind of goes to show, like, I feel like I haven't been in the best mindset. I haven't been my most positive and patient self. And then, like, you know, Liam, he hasn't even really noticed. Like, you know, I don't know. That just kind of, it makes me feel good. That even though, like, in my head, I feel like I haven't been... Um, everything that I, you know, strive to be every day. At least it's not as bad as like I'm making it out to be in my head. Like in my head, I'm thinking that I'm just not being, I don't know. That, just, that made me feel a lot better. All right, we made it to horseback riding. We're a few minutes early. Let me help you get unbuckled, girl. So Ab, do you want to do horseback riding alone or do you want me to come with you? Yeah. You wanna do it alone? Are you excited for horseback riding? I'm Hi, baby. Here, can you take this and give this to Miss Teresa? All right, do you want any help getting out or you got it? Bye, Mom. Bye, baby. Oh, I got my gosh. You want me to play with the toys in the car? Sad. Okay. Bye. I just say bye.